Listen up, StreamYard fans. There's a new feature. Yes, StreamYard has lost no momentum from 2021, and they've already released their first new feature of 2022, which is copyright-free background music. And in this quick update video, we'll show you where it is, how to use it, our thoughts on how this feature could evolve, and two other features that were also announced and should be available today. Let's get into it. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach, and on this channel, I show you how to use live streaming to grow and engage an audience, to funnel clients to your business, or establish yourself as a thought leader. And today, we're looking at StreamYard's latest feature, copyright-free background music. So here we are in StreamYard. We're looking at uh, a client's brand, but that's not the point. So we're in here. This is a normal screen. You've already logged in. You've already accessed your camera, everything like that. We're in the studio now. Uh, to find the copyright-free background music, you go over to brand. Brand is right here. Let's highlight that right here. Zoom in a little bit. Brand, we click on the brand tab. And right in the brand tab, you, we have all the things that we're used to. We have brand color, theme, logo, overlay section, and that's pretty extensive. That's where a lot of our stream graphics reside. We have video clips. Then we have backgrounds, a little more on that later. But now under backgrounds, there's a new section, background music. Look at this, background music. Amazing, right? And so we have at least, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different music uh, tracks that we can use during our live stream. And it is set in the background. You can control the volume here. Let's go ahead and play one of them, <laughs> Feeding the Ducks. Let's play that one real quick. I'm gonna grab my headphones. So you can hear that in the background. And the, the setting is set up in a way that it will never be louder than the person's voice. It will never be louder than the people on screen who are talking, but you can control it. You can pull it back a little bit in terms of controlling the volume on any one of those background music. And then you can hit this checkbox to ensure that it loops. So it will play and play and play if you want it to in the background. Um, and it will keep on repeating that same track. You have, like I mentioned, eight of them to choose from and, you know, different styles and uh, feel depending on what you're going for for your live show. We've shared many ways to hack this in the past, right? Many ways to be able to utilize background music, um, to bring it in through the share feature, to bring it in through um, a, a physical hardware device that you have on your computer. But I'm so glad that they've been able to now give us this feature here in this way, native to the system. Now, one of the things that I see here uh, immediately right off the bat is, you know, you see, you see how all of these other ones have a plus sign because we can add our own backgrounds. We can add our own video clips. We can add our own uh, custom overlays. Well, if they if we can add those, then why can't we add some music? So StreamYard, if you're listening, if you're watching, I would love to see a plus sign down here so that I can add my own background music and still control it the same way, still loop it the same way that we will with this, the music that's built into the system. I can't thank them enough for this. Uh, this is a really awesome feature. I want to share two more things. There's two other features that they talked about. Um, that will be coming soon and in fact should be released today. And one of them is collapsible brand sections. You can actually close off a brand section. Say you've set your background and you're not using that anymore. You can actually collapse that section so it's no longer taking space. Say you're not really doing anything with video clips, at least at this part of the show, you can collapse that. And then of course, um, this is the major section, the overlays. I'm not certain you ever want to collapse that, but I could definitely see collapsing the theme, the brand, the logo. Those are sections that I rarely use. I could collapse those. And then if you think about it even further, this feature is actually pretty dope because you have 
your host feature and you have your team's feature. So you might have other people in the system who's who may be managing your overlays, let's say. So if somebody else is managing your overlays, then I can collapse mine and have that out of the way for myself. So that is really a cool option right there as well. The last one that they announced uh, yesterday during the StreamYard Connect Summit uh, was additional backgrounds. They're going to start adding stock backgrounds to the system and those stock backgrounds will be available here along with the backgrounds that you've added for yourself. So right now we have this leaves background. That's the only one that they that we currently get with the system. They will be adding additional backgrounds to that one as well. So look out for those again. Probably by the time you're watching this video, these features would have been rolled out. In the next few weeks for pro plan StreamYard users, we will get yet another feature. And this one is huge. It's the ability to have multiple cameras natively in StreamYard. The way it was explained is you'll be able to hit the share button in the studio and add an additional camera that is connected to your system, which will then be added to the studio. We'll then be able to switch cameras or add it as an additional camera on screen. It will take up one of your 10 on screen slots. So keep that in mind and it will use the same mic. That's pretty cool. Can't wait to see this in action. All I can pray for is that we get a hotkey to be able to switch between cameras easily. Man, I am super excited for this and what it means for how we utilize this platform. Let me know in the comments what you think about this and any of the other 50 new features already rolled out and still to come. Be sure to subscribe so you're notified when new videos are released. It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping it's somewhere in the video today. We got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works, and we'll see you in the next video.